Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Tani Walker. On today's episode, I'm teaching you how to build a capsule wardrobe for fall and winter. If you're new, please subscribe, hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any new episodes, and follow me on social media at Danny Walker. I would love to connect with you there. Number one on my list is a basic tee. You can get this in black, white, gray, or whatever neutral that you prefer. This is something I use all the time. It's great because you can wear it as a layer. You can wear it by itself. My favorite brand is Cynthia Rowley for basic tees. I think it's a little bit pricey, but I'm always able to find great deals on her tees on ThreadUp, so be sure to check them out. Number two is a turtleneck. I can't tell you how much use that I get out of turtlenecks during the fall and during the winter and they just look so classic they make you look so expensive and I really think that they do so much to elevate your look and this is one of the things that I've gotten the most use out of number three is a blouse I prefer ones that are buttoned up I think that they give you a little bit more versatility you can do a blouse in a classic print in a bright color in a neutral whatever you would like because it's really something that can add an extra element and to me, it's such a great basic that you can wear to work, you can wear it after work, and there's just so much that you can do with it, and it really helps you look well put together. Number four is a love of mine, and that's just a wool or a cashmere sweater. Personally, I like to buy mine resale from Thread Up. I love to look for pieces that are super soft and luxurious, but also that are really going to keep me warm during those colder months. And I found that a really nice, well-fitted cashmere sweater is the perfect item for your capsule wardrobe. Number five is for when it gets really chilly, and that is a thick cable knit sweater. It is just so classic, it's chunky, it's cozy, it's all those things that we really wanna be thinking about during those cold months to keep us warm, but also fashionable. If you're liking this episode so far, comment fashion down below and give it a thumbs up. Number six is actually just a piece that I think you can wear year round and that's a denim jacket. I think it's especially great for those months where you're just tired of wearing a heavy overcoat and you wanna take that off and maybe you're inside but you're still a little bit chilly. Just keeping that denim jacket on is a really great casual look and it, it adds such a fun and laid back texture to your wardrobe. Number seven is a blazer. I'm recently obsessed with these. I personally have one in black, white, and in navy, but if you're just building your wardrobe, you could just stick with a black blazer and you're gonna get so much use out of this. I like to wear blazers personally with my jeans and some heels if I'm going out with friends. You can also wear a blazer over a dress or over a skirt or really dress it up and wear it with some dress pants. So it's really, really versatile and I love how just effortless chic and dressed up it can make you look. Number eight, this one I love because I travel so much and that's just a packable down jacket or a packable down alternative jacket. This is amazing because you can roll it up, you can squish it into a suitcase, you can put it in a small bag, you can actually clip it onto your backpack, onto your luggage, that's something I do a lot and to me this has been one of the most practical pieces that I have. I have a black Mark Andrew packable down. I love it and it actually has a really nice feminine cut to it. So there's a curve in the back instead of a straight shape that you would see in a men's outfit. So that's something that you could be looking for when you're on the hunt for these, but I love them and I always suggest picking one up at a major department store after fall and winter. So the best time, look for this during spring, summer when they're trying to clear out uh, last year's inventory. Number nine is something I wish I knew about a lot sooner and that's just a camel coat. I have a wool cashmere one that I inherited from my great grandmother. It sat in a closet for years and one day I decided to wear it and it really changed my look, but most importantly really kept me warm and it goes with so many different outfits. It's nice because it can brighten up your look. I think it's easy to lean towards black in your wardrobe and yes, that's a great basic and a staple, but having a really, really nice camel Camel colored long coat to keep you warm is gonna be a thing that you don't regret adding into your wardrobe. By the way, if you would like a copy of all these essentials that you can just keep with you for the next time that you go shopping, as well as a little bit more style inspiration, click the description below and I'm gonna have a link to my free style cheat sheet. Number 10 is a well-fitted pair of dark denim jeans. 
I'm a huge fan of denim. I think that nowadays it's become so much more acceptable even in business settings to wear a really great pair of jeans. But make sure that they fit you really well. Make sure that you get them altered if you find a pair that you absolutely love that might be too long or a little bit big. Invest in a great pair of jeans. I typically only buy one pair of jeans per year that are a really great well-fitted dark denim and I wear them every single week and I get all of my wear out of them. Number 11 is something I recently discovered as well and that's a pair of well-fitted leather or faux leather pants. I like the idea of a pant instead of a legging. I think it dresses things up a little bit more. I found some from Free People. I purchased their vegan leather and they have just become this amazing staple in my closet and I wear them constantly. Number 12 is a midi skirt. It's become one of my absolute favorite things because we tend to ditch our skirts and our dresses during those colder months. A skirt can really make a look a lot more feminine and I think that there's still a time and a place for it. Adding in a really nice and classic midi skirt is a great way to still wear skirts during those colder months. Number 12 is along those lines and that's a sweater dress. I love sweater dresses. I actually have a few in my closet, but recently I purchased a neutral colored sweater dress and one of my favorite ways to wear it is with a high boot to keep me extra warm. Sometimes I'll even layer some tights under it, but it can be worn so many different ways and it's just become one of my favorite pieces. By the way, if you're watching on a mobile device, make sure that you screenshot this episode, post it to an Instagram story, and tag me at Danny Walker to let me know what you think, and also to just share the love and share all of these tips with your friends. Number 14 is a little black dress. I think that this is something that every woman's closet needs. It's just so classic. It's easy if you have a formal or a semi-formal event, but I actually have a basic sheath little black dress and I dress it up and I dress it down. So it's just so versatile to me. It's a must have for anyone's closet. Number 15 is actually an accessory, but it's one that I'm obsessed with and it's just a basic black belt. A belt is a really great accessory that a lot of people overlook, but it can add a lot to an outfit because it can give you shape, but it's also sort of like adding a piece of jewelry to your look. And that's why I love it. Number 16 is metallic jewelry. I absolutely love small pieces of jewelry. If you're more into bold statement pieces, that's fine, but I think that having pieces that are in a metallic can really be versatile and they can be paired with anything and that's usually my go-to whenever I'm styling an outfit is just something simple, something metallic. Number 17, I love a shoulder purse. I think it's important for any season to have a handbag. For those colder months, I do like to have a really nice bag that it's gonna be great for the daytime, but also something that I can wear for nicer events. It really just adds a whole nother layer and an element to your look. Number 18 is a year round staple for me and that's just a pair of white sneakers. These are so cute, they're so classic. Yes, you can wear them in the summer and spring, but for me, I find myself drifting towards these during those colder months. They're easy, they match just about everything in your closet. I always have a really great pair of a classic clean pair of white sneakers. Number 19 is a pair of boots. Whether you like high boots or ankle boots, whatever it is, I think that boots are so versatile. You can get them with a heel, you can get them in a flat, just depending more on your personal style. Just choose a really, really great boot. Again, that's one of those things that I only purchase maybe once a year, if that, but most of my boots, I buy them and I just keep them forever. Investing in a really great quality pair of boots is awesome. Not something that's super trendy, but something that's going to just last you year after year year after year I'm a, I'm a big fan of. The last thing on my list is a pair of black pointed toe heels. I love this classic look. It can really dress up anything else that we've already talked about for these essential wardrobe pieces. They are just always going to look beautiful and elegant. So this is something that I feel like all women should have in their closet. And actually I have a whole episode about shoe essentials, shoes that every woman should own that really cover you for any outfit you could ever wear. So if you want to see that episode, just click right up here. But really, if you can only have one pair of shoes, make it a black 
pointed toe pair of pumps. You will get so much use out of them. Those are my style essentials for a fall winter capsule wardrobe. If you enjoyed this episode, make sure that you're subscribed and that you hit that notification bell for lots more. I really appreciate you watching this one and I hope you're tuned in for the next. And if you want to find me on Instagram, you can find me at Danny Walker. I'd love to connect with you there or now on TikTok at Danny Walker Official.